bottom of the 13th inning in a 1 1 game and the Red Sox trying to send everybody home very happy tonight. They can do that with one run. They have not scored since the fifth when they tied up the ball game. Look at the opponent today. Aaron Nola was brilliant. Eight innings, just four hits. He gave up the one earned run. That was it. He walked one, struck out six with some nasty stuff. Three different pitches that were pretty untouchable today. A fastball that we saw 95 early in the game, but later as he settled in, he was around 92. But that breaking pitch was just a big puzzle. Yep, he was impressive. So was David Price, who went eight. Eight hits, one run, five Ks. Both starters were outstanding. But they've been gone for a long time. Showered, ate dinner. <laughs> maybe maybe had dessert, saw a movie. Price might be home sleeping with Astro by now. Nunez to lead things off here. Red Sox have been held to five hits in 12 innings, which is unheard of for an offense like this, but it's happened here tonight. Brock Holtz had a good night with a pair of doubles. They get Garcia up in their bullpen for the second time. The right hander loosening once again. And he has an impressive beard. <laughs> Fly ball to right, but that one's sailing toward the stands foul. Now, Nunez only has one hit tonight, but I keep talking about I really feel like he's had a great night. Of course, that one hit did drive in the run that the Red Sox have, but he's been on point defensively. There's no question that third base is his best defensive position. But tonight, he's made three or four exceptional plays. Yep. Over at third. Heads up plays. Left it high and the count goes full. Big pitch. Rally caps are on. That leadoff guy on as you've talked about it hasn't happened very often tonight. Off the middle and that'll get through for a base hit. And there's your leadoff man Nunez with his second hit. This begins the 13th inning. And raises the Red Sox hopes. It'll bring up Brock Holt. Who has doubled his last two times up. We're going to have Kapler come out and talk defensive strategy here. Oh, maybe he's going to go straight to the bullpen too. So he's going to bring in Garcia. He's going to take his time. Now they're going to talk about what the situation is. What are you going to do on a bump play if they decide to do that? So taking out the lefty to bring in a right hander to face Brock Holt. Well, I think what what he's most worried about is he watched Brock Holt go to left field his last couple at bats. And so he's thinking, well, I know he can take a ball away from him and hit it hard somewhere. And he may be thinking he may be thinking that they're going to bunt anyway. So what difference does it make who's coming up? We already saw Alex Cora not bunt earlier in the game. Well, we'll see how it works out for the rookie manager. And it, when you look at the conversation when they have the iPads out there and they're looking at all that stuff and of course Nunez just getting a drink of water and then some <laughs> but the, the other guys, Rodriguez they're certainly talking to Brock Holt like he's not going to step up there and drop a bunt down right they're talking about this is what this guy throws this is what he throw in this situation be careful of this would you have this long uh, conversation if you were just going to say hey Brock you're you're, you're bunting I would doubt it yeah that wouldn't make too much sense. You still want to know what a guy throws if he's got a splitty or what you know what it might be but yeah I maybe get that maybe foul off two bunts and you don't get it down now you got to hack. Look at his two two base hits tonight one in the eighth and the other in the tenth. Good at bats ball away from Brock he stays with it boom. 
Now run fast because you know it's up off the green. You got to make sure that someone out there doesn't make a great play on you. Then Nishek, same thing. He threw the ball away, hammered it to left. So he has been a spark a couple of times, although nobody brought him in. And now Garcia will enter the fray. They use him a lot. This is his 37th appearance. And you look at the strikeouts 32 of those in 29 innings. Doesn't walk too many guys either, just seven on the season. Good strikeout to walk ratio. Sox have the leadoff man on here in the bottom of the 13th. I don't think you see Nunez steal possible hit and run with these guys. Throw to first base, I believe, designed to see if Holt would tip off if he was going to bunt. You're he a very not. smart man. That's exactly what he's doing. Holt's too smart for that. Third baseman Franco is in on the grass. And a strike. <laughs> Nothing in one. Little cutter there on the inner half. Holt didn't like it. Wonder if they change their MO with him and try to pitch him in hard. He's done such a good job with balls away from him. Oh and two. Blake Swihart on deck. A run on 10 hits for the Phillies, one run on six hits for the Red Sox. The Phillies have been charged with the only error. And the 0 2. Runner goes. Here's the throw. Not in time. A straight steal on a pitch that missed the strike zone. So the Red Sox had the potential winning run at second with nobody out. I would never have thought that Nunez was feeling good enough to steal a base. He kind of surprised everybody and stole this so easy. That knee's feeling better. He's playing better. That wasn't even close. You know, he was such a good player for the Red Sox when they picked him up last year from the Giants when he was healthy. Starting to be that guy again. Brock will get this ball to the right side. One, two. Got a piece of it. He really is one of the better situational hitters on the Red Sox. Watch, this is the same pitch that he banged off the wall a few times, but now look at him get out there and try to hook it. That's a good pitch for him to hit, but if you don't get a hit, it doesn't help you unless you get it to the right side. So he's trying to hook a ball that's away from him. It's all he's trying to do is get it to the right side. That's an excellent effort. Nobody out. Nunez at second in the 13th. Down he goes. He struck him out. Whew. That had some hair on it. 98. Holt didn't smell that one coming. Didn't think he'd get it past him. This ball just gets right by him there. That's the kind of swing you take as a hitter, and you can't believe you missed the ball. One out for Blake Swihart, who's 0 for 1, has a nine game hitting streak going. Came into the ball game late. To replace Sandy Leon. Brock Holt is on is uh, out of the ball game with that. Shez a shot to right on the move. Quinn. He's not gonna get it. It skips up into the stands, and the Red Sox have won the ball game. Nunez coming in to score. Swihart delivers with a shot to right. And the Red Sox win it in 13 by a final score of two to one. On an absolute rocket by Blake Swihart. So much for not having very many walk off wins this season. Wow, it's so great to see him have some success. Had to sit on the bench for so long, was unsuccessful. Finally getting some consistent playing time and coming through big time. Red Sox with their fourth walk off hit. This came at the latest hour. 
That pitch right down Broadway and Blake didn't miss it. On to the warning track it skips up and a game winner. It's a pretty swing when he makes good contact isn't it. And exuberant Blake Swihart the star here tonight. And the Red Sox have won for the 75th time this season now 75 and 33 as we toss it down to Garen. Blake before that at bat what are you telling yourself. Uh, you know just be ready get a pitch I can handle and try to drive it in the gap so we win. With more playing time how much I'm sorry. <laughs> Feel. No, that was cold. Oh, that was the first one, so that's good. With the additional playing time, how much more comfortable have you been? Uh, you know, just, just getting my uh, timing down and, you know, having fun playing baseball. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're getting really creative with these, aren't they? Woo. That's cold. Talk about the job that David Price and the bullpen did tonight. Yeah, you know, they're going out competing and making pitches when it counts, and it's a lot of fun to watch. 75 wins. What is behind this team's success? I think just our chemistry, our coaches, everything. You know, we get along so well. We have fun off the field, on the field, which is a lot of fun. Congrats on this win tonight, Blake. Go dry off. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.